Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Brianna. Welcome to my channel and today is the best day of my life because I am here with you guys. So I'm getting into a new takedown today. So if you're interested in seeing, then just keep on watching. So guys, today's takedown, I'm going to be kind of walking you through how I get the most growth when I am stretching my relaxers. So as you guys can see, I do have on a unit. This is my Wickfall Styles unit, Chloe, and I just absolutely love her. She is my everyday wig, and I have been rolling and sleeping and everything in her, so it's literally so easy to put this unit on and it's just as simple as one, two, three. So this is how she looks. It's a HD closure. So it's just really good quality. The hair is gorgeous. Haven't curled this hair in about a couple weeks. So um, love that wig. So you want a wig that does not have a lot of tension. Like that's what's really, really important. I can really just throw that wig on and go. There's no tension or anything. I have my cap here on and it's just, my hair is so protected. I can take it on and off. I can moisturize my scalp. My edges are still intact because I'm not using any glue, anything at all to lay that wig down. And actually, you guys, that is like a 100% glueless wig. I don't even use a band. If you want to, you can use a band, but I don't because the way that I make my wig fall styles units, they are just custom to fit your head size. So they fit really good, especially once you wear them over and over and over again, it just kind of molds to the head. So that unit makes it so there is really like stress-free. Your hair is literally stress-free stress and you don't have to worry about, um, you know, all of the glue. You don't even have to use got to be glued, which is gel. You don't have to use anything for that wig to be on. So you just want to have something where um, you're really not manipulating in your hair at all. And you don't have any stress caused to your hair. So I've had these braids in for about a month or two, honestly, at this point. My head has been itching like crazy. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I have been slacking on um, oiling my scalp and stuff, but it's okay. I went to New York Fashion Week and I wanted to switch up my looks. So I did wear um, a bob wig where I left some of my hair out here in the front. It wasn't much, but um, I probably did get a little bit of breakage because I was um, flat ironing my hair. That was my choice. But like I said, the unit that I just had on, that one, you don't have to use any heat. It's just like a hundred percent protective like and that's really the only way like getting a really nice glueless wig is the only way that you can a hundred percent protect your hair so i was actually um supposed to relax my hair at the beginning of this month today is february 27th hopefully i relax my hair today if not today definitely tomorrow but um basically i'd probably have been stretching for like five months at this point um but like I said my hair has been protected so I'm not really worried about it too much and I have been moisturizing and sealing but just not as often as I would like just from being on the go and uh, doing so much but I'm gonna also show you guys the shedding and stuff at the end but I'll leave the exact dates here on the screen of how long I've been stretching and you guys know once I do my relaxer I'm going to come and give you guys an update but for this update or for this takedown video my scalp is itching and I know it's itching because it's dirty and it needs to be washed. But of course, 
um you don't quite want to do that just because you want your hair to be dirty when you relax it you don't really want to relax clean hair my hair has been growing so much you guys some people have noticed but um since i cut it last year in april um it's just been growing like weeds and i'm super excited to see how um the growth is once i relax and and get a good trim and stuff like that but i just wanted to um kind of tell you guys like ways that i prepare my hair for braids as well like basically i don't do too much so i don't want you guys to think that it's super extensive but i believe my hair was either straightened or blow dried before i put these braids in and when you are braiding your hair for you know whatever protective style and even if you're not doing um like braids as a protective style per se you want to make sure that your hair is free of tangles so this is why I typically braid my hair once it's stretched in some capacity because usually if I just, you know, kind of go in and try to braid my hair, it gets a lot of tangles. But if I blow dry it or if I uh, air dry it and comb it out or just make sure that it is detangled, it's such a smooth process and even like as I'm taking my hair out I'm not really getting too many tangles but the tangles that I am getting is from the shedded hair not only do I make sure that my hair is free of tangles but I make sure that my nails are either clipped or I make sure I have no hang nails make sure that my nails are either clipped down non-existent or something because oh my goodness guys so many times I have pull the nagged at my hair from a broken nail and that always sucks because that can be preventable so I just make sure that my nails are intact just really prepping your hair before you braid it up or put it into a protective style will maintain the fact that it's going to be growing and um it'll be easy to manage once it's time to take the protective style out shedded hairs are inevitable but even when your hair is up in a way for you know a day or two or even a week or in my case for a couple months um the shedded hair your hair is still gonna shed um i know a lot of people think oh because my hair is up that it's not gonna shed no our hair sheds every single day and when you are taking out a protective style the shedding can get tangled so i always try to take out my hair um just as i put it in so i don't try to rush i take my time and if i feel that i have some loose hairs i'll just try to take those out as gentle as possible and that's super important because you don't want your shedded hairs to um give you any type of setback or you know, you just want to make sure that you are handling it with care, especially around the edges, because that is the most sensitive part of most of our hairs is our edges. And that's where you can really get caught up with the tangles. So like right now, I do have a shedded hair that's kind of tangled in. So I'll just take my time and kind of just see where the problem is. And I'll just try to pull those strands apart. And boom, I got the shedded hair out without any breakage. just pulling the or should I say tugging the shedded hairs is not enough like just that alone is not enough you have to go through the hair and comb it out you can use a wide tooth comb like this one 
or you can actually use a paddle brush and just get all the tangles out and make sure that the shedded hair is out as well and that's really what I'm doing this for because when you're going in to wash your hair like I said I'm definitely going to be relaxing after this when you're going in to do those things you do not want your hair to be tangled like water and tangles do not mix y'all so have to really really get in there and detangle your hair really good and I'm just doing it section by section so that I'm not overwhelmed and I can really get through each section and just detangle it really, really good. So I'm working my way from the ends to the root, just being careful. And if you are getting a relaxer like me after taking down a protective style, you don't want to comb your scalp. So I'm not combing my scalp at all. I'm going close to the root here, but I'm not touching the scalp with my comb or my brush or anything you don't want to disturb or make any lacerations to your scalp <laughs> As you guys can see, I am now finished taking my hair down and my hair literally grows five um, or more inches every single um, stretch. So um, I stretch for about four to five months. So about an inch or so, a little bit more every month. And that has been pretty consistent so i always find it helpful to really protective style like the last couple months of my stretch or even just the last month of my stretch because of course the roots are really really um thick and um you know kind of combating between the two textures at that point so i just like to make it easier on myself and i do enjoy wearing wigs which i do wear wigs before the last month of my stretch as well but um i just love wigs i always have i have a wig company so i have to uh, wear them but of course i use them as my form of protective style to get optimal growth and really see like um the hair flourish no breakage no um problems no mishaps no um setbacks from protective styles or different styles that i'm trying because my hair is out so um this is what i get and that's why i always love to wear my units because it's just so easy and when i take my hair down i have all this beautiful glorious hair so this is the shedding here it is so this is about a month or so over a month of shedding not bad but also guys like when you guys see people show you their shedded hair um you know this is just like a whole bunch of hair that has fallen out you don't know like how they're kind of balling it up because i can also make this ball smaller and bring it into this but if i want to puff it out 
I can do one of these. So it's relative, you know? And I really feel like when it comes to shedding, you just have to pay attention to your hair and just know the normal um, shedding of your hair. This is pretty normal for me when I am stretching. But like I said, you have to make sure that whatever shedding you have is pretty normal for your hair. I have also been using um, black tea rinses and stuff like that. So I'm super excited to see what this um, relaxer update brings me. Um, my hair feels really good and soft, but it's definitely time to wash. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about my hair, comment down below and we will chat or I will make a separate video, do another Q&A for you guys about my hair and just things about your hair as well. Also, let me know what would be a good day to go live here because I do want to start talking to you guys a little bit more like in person, like FaceTime, like we're on FaceTime. So comment down below and let me know. I love you guys so much. Remember, do what you love and love what you do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.